What up, guys? Kevin here. Trails in the Sky SC, which means second chapter, has been beaten by moi. And I got to say, um, it's a game that people love. It's a game that people put as their favorite Trails game. For me personally, it's going down as one of my least favorite Trails games I've ever played. Holy shit. <laughs> I have never been like, holy crap, this is one of the best Trails games to actually playing and beating it. Going, um, no. <laughs> Nowhere close. Now, that being said, because I know that's going to piss people off, I love the Trail series. This game I enjoyed about, I either liked or really loved about 80% of this game. Other 20%, I didn't. And so the score would be an 8 out of 10. Is it my least favorite? Um, it will take some time. I think I'll still put Trails of Cold Steel 4 at the very bottom. Then maybe Trails of Cold Steel 2 and then second chapter. But yeah, let's get into it. Why did I not like this game? This game took me 125 hours to beat. And a lot of it felt like fucking padding. Just so much padding in this game. Um, you're, there's no new sections of, it's the same damn world. Well, duh, it's liberal, duh. But you're just kind of, <laughs> well, you're just going like in reverse to what you did in the first game. And then, uh, the second to last chapter, you're doing the world tour where you're visiting everything again. And then you get to, uh, the island, the sky island, uh, liberal arc. And I'm like, okay, here's a new area. But even that area outstayed its welcome. Holy shit. Trails games have a serious issue of like, holy crap, I'm at the end of the game. I just want to get to the end of the game. But here's a stupid long ass final chapter dungeon, whatever. Um, I'm glad to see it continues here in SE. Well, it's one of the first games. <laughs> so um, they kept that tradition alive. But. Yeah, it's like a tale of two games. It reminds me of um, Trails of Cold Steel 4, where like, oh, we need to get our Rini back. Um, oh, yeah, it's going to be slight spoilers. If you haven't played the first chapter, and then I'll probably give a little things away here in second chapter, so you've been warned. Um, but, yeah, it's just like you, the first part of the game or most of the game, really, is you're just trying to find your Joshy Washi. Estelle wants to find her Joshy Washi. Josh um, got mind-controlled and went back to Uroburos to be the Black Fang. And so he uh, ghosted um, Estelle at the end of the first chapter. Speaking of ghosting, go check out my last video on ghosting. People seem to love that video. Not getting many views, but I'm getting a lot of good feedback on that one. Check it out. Um, but yeah, I love that. I just love this style. Just wanted to get her Josh back. Just loved it. She's trained to become a better bracer with, uh, Annalise, who's one of my favorite bracers, her and Zinn got Zinn. Don't spoil it for me. If you played the, uh, uh, the daybreak games, I guess you would call them, but Zinn's got to show up, right? He's showing up, right? He has to. And when that happens, I am going to jump out of my seat, bed, whatever, and go, fuck yeah. Um, feel like one of those Marvel dorks watching Avenger movies. <laughs> but anyways, I love that story. I just love a simple, easy going. Estelle just wants her brother fucker uh, back. Just wants Josh back. And great. Just her getting stronger. I really feel like Estelle came into her own here. One of my favorite protagonists. I think she might be my favorite Trails protagonist. Uh, especially at the end of the game when um, she's still telling everyone off in kind of that bratty, optimistic way. But um, I was like, damn, she's got a lot of resolve. She's really grown over the last two games, which were very long. Two very long games. Um, but yeah, I just love Estelle. She's just my favorite. Um, it's just hard not to like her. And 
yeah, the cast of characters, great. Um, you know, having played the games out of order, I started with Cold Steel 1 and now finally beat SC. All I got is a third. Kevin Graham? You meet Kevin Graham? People had, I was reading people have an issue with him in the second chapter. I didn't see it. Um, so, and then people like, oh yeah, he flourishes in the third. I'm like, okay, all right. I can definitely believe that, but he's already great. And at the end of second chapter, when he pulled out that like coal cold-blooded move i was like god damn kevin <laughs> just uh it reminded me of uh yuri in uh tales of vesperia though uh that was a little bit more expected of him so maybe, there's probably a better uh character out there to compare it to but um yeah i'm looking forward to to the third i'm not gonna play that till probably after daybreak um <laughs> if there, and people are telling me that one's a long game too. Look, um, I don't mind games being long, but this game definitely, definitely didn't need to be as long as it should have. Um, there was probably the most frustrating part of this game was I've had about three nights. So I, I work a very long day and I play video games because I want gameplay. I want gameplay. Now, I love JRPGs because it's more than just gameplay. You get great story, great characters, great world building. And I understand that requires cutscenes. That requires dialogue. Um, a lot of back and forth. A lot of, you know, put the controller down and get your popcorn. I'm okay with that. But there was like three different nights while playing this game where all I did was just read. Just read going from NPC to NPC or cutscene to cutscene. I didn't do one battle uh, over the course of like two hours. Um, I was like, what the hell? What the hell? <laughs> that was probably the most frustrating part of this game. And then, yeah, just being a little too long, doing the world tour. Now, I don't mind it being in the same location, but um, it's very copy and paste. I like the Yakuza games. They're in the same place. Um, but, you know, this is an older game. It really felt like this game. What? When did this game came out? Probably came out really af really quick after the first chapter. Because um, I think really just the last, the finale was the only new section of the game. Unless I'm missing something. But, again, I don't, I don't mind it for that. It was just too long. The game was just too long. With extra, like, 30 hours. This story should have been told in, like, 80 hours. Not... Um, 125 or wh however that would translate to how long you took it. I felt like X amount of hours too long for me, 30. Um, but yeah, I don't, I, I don't know. I, I feel like, I feel like I'm missing something guys. I feel like I'm played the game. Maybe it's just me playing it out of order, but I do like first chapter way more than this. I like first chapter way more than second chapter. But for me personally, that's just getting to know the characters, getting to know the world. Um, and then the second chapter is like, all right, kind of been here, done that. I know who you are, which gives it a cozy feeling. But uh, yeah, that's my thoughts on second chapter. Again, eight out of 10, not my least favorite. That would be four and... Uh, two the cold steel games and yeah it, it kind of reminds me of trails to azure where i really love that game up until like the last chapter or two or last act or two i forgot if it's chapters or acts in that and it for me it completely fell off um that's what it reminds me here it's just like you get to the point you get josh and it's like you get a very happy reunion i think the game should have ended there i think it should have ended there Maybe have like an epic boss battle. Only well, I mean, there was, but you know, a good finale boss there and end it. And then maybe this, the last part of second chapter could have been its own game. And then you have third. I don't know. But anyways, it's been beat. All I have left is the third, which I'm saving that one. People get on me about beating these games. Like you haven't beat them all. Well, wh whose position rather be? Um, your position where you played all the games 
and you're just waiting for the new games to come out, or me, who still gets to play the third. And people say the third is um, definitely important, and Reverie copied the third, and Reverie is my favorite. Reverie is my favorite Trails game. So I have a feeling that I'm going to really, really love the third. But then again, I don't know what games I'm going to love. <laughs> the games that people tell me I'm going to love, I don't. And the games that people hate, um, I end up loving. But anyways, I got to go. That's my final thoughts on Trails in the Sky, second chapter, 8 out of 10. Way too damn long. Way too much reading. Um, still got a Josh back. And man, those two really go at it. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Look, guys, they're adopted, so I'll allow it. I'll allow it, you know. It's a different world, you know. 28 is extremely fucking old. Just let them have it. All right, I gotta go. I'll talk to you later. Later.